Hey guys, welcome back to NW1 and um, the channel. Today I wanna to cover a topic, a question that we get so much, particularly through our Instagram feed and through direct messaging um, and all this kind of stuff. And it's very much a hot topic at the moment if it fits your macros or the macro based diet. We always seem to get the question of how many calories should I be eating? How, what should my macros be? And all these types of questions, because the answer is right, it is specific to you as the individual. So in this video today, I'm going to walk you through how to set up an initial base level of macros. So step number one is that we need to identify what we're trying to achieve. Are we trying to lose body fat, which is going to require a calorie deficit? We need to identify, are we trying to maintain, or are we trying to put muscle mass, which is going to require a calorie surplus? From there, we need to find out what is our base level of calories. And what you need to know to work this out is your body weight. Once you have your body weight, you're going to times this number by 10 to 13. So whatever your body weight is in pounds, you times that by 10 to 13. That's going to give you a rough idea of what your BMR is. So that is the level of calories required to maintain your body weight. So for example, if you have a 200 pound male, then you are going to times that by 13 generally then that will give you your maintenance calories or your BMR. From there, we identify, right, okay, are we going to diet aggressively? Are we going to work at a small surplus to kind of build in some muscle mass? And then we can set the calories. So as an example, if we are trying to lose body fat, then maybe we might diet kind of moderate to aggressively at around a four to 500 calorie deficit. So say if we have a 200 pound male, then this is going to lead to generally in the region of about 2,200. Once we've established our calories, then we can go ahead and establish our macros. When working at macros, the first thing we need to realize is one gram of protein is four calories, one gram of carbohydrate is also four calories, and one gram of fat is nine calories. Now, when we are initially setting up our macros, the first macronutrient we have to address is protein because it's the most important. Now, when we are setting up protein, we want to be in the region of around 1.5 to 2.5 uh, grams of protein per kilo of body weight. So for example, having this 200 pound male that we've been referring to is going to be on around 200 grams of protein. With 200 grams of protein, we times that by four, which allocates 800 calories from our initial 2,200, which are going to be allocated towards protein sources. The next step is to work out our fat. Fat is also an essential macronutrient, i.e. we will struggle to function without it and plays a very, very important role in our diet and our well-being. The best way to go about it is to take your body weight in kilos and then times that by 0.5 to 0.7. This is going to be our fat intake. So for example, for our 200 pound male, he is going to be on roughly 63 grams of fat. So that is taking his body weight in kilos, which is around 90 kilos, times it by 0.7, which gives us 63 times that by nine, that gives us 567 calories of his 200 allocated from fat sources. From there, the next step is to add is protein and, protein and fat up together. So we're going to take the 800 calories um, taken from protein and the 567 calories from fat, and we are gonna add them together, which gives us 1,367 calories. Now we know his net calories for the day is 2,200. So we're going to take 1,367 
protein and the fat from the total of 2200 and that gives us the remaining calories which are allocated to carbohydrate. So once we've done this sum, it leaves us with 833 calories remaining, which then we divide that by four because one gram of carbohydrate is four calories and it leaves us with 208 grams of carbohydrate. So the macronutrients or the macro balance for this 200 pound 90 kilo male is 208 carb, 200 protein and 63 fat working at a calorie allowance of about 2200 calories per day so a reminder step number one is find out roughly what your bmr take your body weight in pounds times it by 10 to 13. once you've done that establish the deficit or the surplus that we need to be working at Find out your initial protein intake, because that's the most important, by taking your body weight in kilos, timesing it by 1.5 to 2.5. Once you've established that, multiply your body weight in kilos by 0.5 to 0.7 that gives your fat intake. Then take the calorie allowance from the fat and the protein, add them together, take them away from the total number of calories, and that leaves you with the calories allocated to carbohydrate, divide it by four, and there you have it. That is your carbohydrate intake. All the information of how to do this in a step-by-step -step guide is gonna be in the description below. So if you have any questions, and please feel free just to comment on the video below and then we will get back to you as soon as possible. If you have found this video helpful, then please give it a big thumbs up. And as always, if you could hit that subscribe button and then it is very, very much appreciated. We'll catch you in the next one.